two major rides at Joe's Manor theme park set for a movie. <laughs> Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be speaking about the two major rides what have been actually confirmed now, what have been set for removal at the end of the 2021 season. Now there was news going about these rides um, a few weeks ago, or should I say a couple of months ago, something like wow. that. These rides getting removed from Drayton Manor and we now know that they are because they are up for sale and used amusement park rides and these two rides are Pandanodium and Apocalypse at the Drayton Manor theme park. Now these two rides are being removed probably we're going to say by the end of this season. They're up for sale now the same website that G-Force is listed on. So if you guys would don't know about this but Drayton Manor recently got sold to a new group and it's part of this new group, I think, that are obviously removing these rides from the park to free up space for a new attraction, which I think they'll be, obviously, they'll be bringing out, hopefully in the near future. But hopefully it won't be too far, because, I mean, if they're removing these two rides at the end of the season, then I would have thought they would have been planning a new ride, definitely, um, straight away. I don't think they'll leave it blank for too long, where... Just because, obviously at Drayton Manor it's a smaller theme park and I don't see removing two major rides from the theme park and not getting replaced pretty soon. Like, because obviously removing them two rides is going to be a lot of people who, or should I say a lot of older people mainly, who are going to probably not want to go. Because obviously G-Force got removed a bit ago and it only leaves Shockwave as its major sort of coaster. Hopefully they get like a, I mean we're hoping it's going to be sort of like a major coaster or something like that. Or if not then we'll just see what it is. But hopefully for removing them two major rides hopefully it's obviously going to be a good, a good idea and a good replacement for them. Now I didn't want to do a video on this until I definitely knew for sure these two rides were going at the end of the season and I'm going to put a couple of pictures up now and they're both up for sale on the used amusement park rides. Now what do I feel about this? Well I can't really give my opinion on Apocalypse too much because I mean that's one of the rides I've actually not like actually been on but obviously Pandanodium it sort of like reminded me a little bit of Submission at Alton Towers. Like, I do quite like it but for him to remove it now, you know, it, it's it'll be a good idea if obviously they replace it with something good and something sort of big, what is going to attract loads of people to the park. But if they don't replace it straight away and it's going to be left standing for a like empty for a bit, then it's probably not the best idea. But I mean, hopefully, yeah, they'll be uh, working on planning application straight right, away. Right. So I just thought I'd give my thoughts on the um two Drayton Manor rides that are currently up for sale and they will be going at the end of the season. So first off, Apocalypse. Um, not sure why they're getting rid of that one. Um, not happy about that at all. It was a pretty decent ride. So I hope they've definitely got some good planned uh, to go in its place. Pretty disappointed about that one. Um, and then Pandanodium is... Um, it's a shame it's going. Um, and hopefully they do put something else in that place as well. But mainly Apocalypse, because it's like one of the main rides at um, Drayton Manor. So it's a shame that they're removing it, really. I mean, I've only ever been on it once, and I've not even tried out all the different ways you can ride it yet, like no floor and sat down and all that stuff. So I'm definitely going to have to give, I think, all the versions of the ride a go before it goes. If these rides do get removed at the end of this season, both of them at the same time, then obviously it's going to leave the park looking a bit bare if it's not replaced soon. So, you know, obviously, yeah, G-Force, the now we're seeing Apocalypse and Pandanodium being removed. Um, so really, what is left for us there to actually be going on is obviously the, obviously the Dark Ride, which hopefully will open in uh, May of this season. 
And then we've got obviously like shockwave. Obviously we've got the uh, accelerator, which used to be the Ben 10 ride. And obviously there is still the zoo there, so there is still plenty to do. But um, yeah, I think if you don't see a replacement of these rides soon, then the park will be looking a bit bare, I think, by the end of the season. So we've got things like Air Race and all those uh, classic rides like that. So yeah, there's still a f fair bit to do there. But I think if they add more in, obviously it will up like people going in. And I think they'll definitely see a return on an investment if they put if they put it into a coaster. I want to know how you guys are feeling about these two ride removals at Drayton Manor theme park. Obviously we're going to try and get there as many times as we can this season and get on those. Or oh, I'll get on one of those rides for quite a hopefully quite a few times before we actually see it go and yeah so we'll obviously get there a few times this season so look out for the vlogs of them coming soon let me know what you guys think is it a good idea or do you guys would you guys rather see them stay and um pick somewhere else to new development like where geforce was maybe but yeah just let me know down in the comment section below and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and comment obviously as well subscribe and it will let me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and I will definitely continue to roll them out as well as the vlogs which will be coming very very shortly. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.